For the first time since sequestration cuts kicked in in March, the White House is back open to visitors. For the first group of people to tour the executive mansion, it was a day they'll probably never forget. Suzanne Kennedy has that story. We're just excited to we have are. people back in the White House. A surprise visit by the president and the first lady kicked off the reopening of White House tours. Are there any more 11 o'clock left? As hundreds waited in line outside, Mr. and Mrs. Obama welcomed visitors back for the first time in nine months. How are Good you? To see you. Very much. Where are you guys visiting from? The tours have been on hiatus, a casualty of the federal budget crisis. The last ones were held on March 9th. The Lloyd family is visiting from Michigan and were some of the lucky ones to get in on the first day. This was a, a planned trip that was not planned that long ago, so for us it was kind of exciting to be able to get in. I think it was real cool that we're able to take the kids through, especially so they can see it, and we got lucky with the timing, really. Welcome back. More than 650. 50,000 people visit the White House every year. The tours of the East Wing and executive residence will now be limited to just a few days a week. The fact that it closed was very saddening. It's a, you know, historical treasure. I think because it belongs to the people of the country, it should always be open. The tours may only continue until January 15th. That's when the current stopgap spending measure expires and funding will again be in jeopardy. In Northwest Washington, Suzanne Kennedy, ABC 7 News.